There he is. Uh oh. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Frustrated by the nine to five, we set out to make a living making things. Through your incredible support, we've been able to bring you along for the ride, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. Say hello to 20 acres of raw, off-grid land in Northern Idaho. Happening now, no going back. We got poles, we got column bases. <laughs> <laughs> and they loaded it on the truck while we were paying for it. Now we just gotta make it home. It's gonna be awesome. It's just it just feels good now that we're like we're buying materials. It's one step closer to to getting going. Wanna go for a swim? Heck yeah! Perk to living along the lake. Go for a swim. Not a chance. Not even close. Plan B. Take two, we're gonna try to lift a little less than half the stack. We'll see what happens. They're getting it together and we're gonna just pick it up. Stop number two with the army truck done. We've got perma columns, we've got laminated posts, we've got lumber, we've got quickcrete, and today one of the last pieces of the puzzle should be showing up, and that's our 30 foot roof trusses. I just heard a loud banging noise down the road, so I think he might be here. It's hard for me to imagine that just a couple of months ago we couldn't even get our camper up here, and now we have <laughs> trucks delivering materials, it's awesome. There he is. Uh oh.
he's gonna make it as far as he can, drop him where, you know, where he can, and uh, we might have to pull him the rest of the way with the excavator, but at least they're close. We have trusses! <laughs> they're nowhere near the building, but we have them. I, we're, it's, they're kind of close. It's it's closer than I was expecting, honestly. Strapped a couple two by four skids underneath the trusses so we don't damage them. I've got this corner sitting on the blade. I've got the bucket picking up in the middle. I'm trying to keep things nice and straight and we are just creeping up the hill. Those trusses are the only reason we're gonna have a building up before winter. I am so glad we found something in stock and that we were able to get them delivered mostly here. Now it's time to get to work. Most of our holes ended up pretty good. You can see that one nice and round and straight. But there's this one over here where we hit a rock. It's gonna need some manual labor. It's supposed to be on this side of the string and it's full of dirt. Yesterday was spent just figuring out what the heck we were doing and now that we have it a little more figured out We're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. So First decision we had to make was how to do the footings for our barn There's a couple ways to do it. You can just set the posts in the dirt because we're planning to invest so much into our apartment and the structure, we didn't want to do that for the lifespan of it, the building. Second option would be to have a concrete truck up, come up here, pour the footings, and then bolt brackets or wet set brackets into the footings. We didn't want to have to wait for a concrete truck. We weren't confident the road is at a point yet where we can get a concrete truck up here. And so again, that wasn't our ideal option. Then we found perma columns. These are engineered pre-formed concrete piers that go in the ground, reinforced with rebar, that already have the brackets set into them. So for us, these are an awesome option. Even cost-wise, the piers were about $140 each. The wet, even if we just wanted to buy the brackets to pour our own concrete, the brackets are $55 each and then you have to have a concrete truck up here. So the cost was not that significant to jump up to these. And we're gonna hopefully get them all set today and ready for the next step. These perma columns have a piece of pipe cast into the concrete. You can slide a piece of rebar into them to tie the concrete that we pour and the perma column together.
I didn't know you were going fishing. I caught a gopher. What's up, little guy? Ah! I know what needs to happen to gophers, but I love every animal, so I'm walking away. There's a rock in the way on this hole. It kicked the auger over sideways. I'm gonna to try to jackhammer it out so we can get the post in the right spot. It actually broke a bunch of it off. Uh, so now I'm gonna try digging those pieces out and see where we're at. Just setting the perma columns in the ground is giving us that lateral shear, but that alone is not going to prevent uplift or being pushed down from the weight of the building. And so that's why we're pouring that concrete bell in the bottom and bonding it to this pier. So that big bell now is not is gonna keep the building from being lifted up. And then it's also gonna help distribute that weight over a greater footprint. We're also throwing a little block of wood down in the hole that the column sits on top of while we pour the concrete. That allows the concrete to flow around the bottom of the column so that the column's supported by the concrete, not just sitting near the concrete. <laughs> Couldn't find a lot of instructions or details on exactly how to set these columns, um, but that just seemed like a good idea. That We're not gonna get into too much detail about it because I think we would bore you guys to death, but basically we're using string to make sure that everything is square in line and then we're using the actual bubble water level to make sure things are plumb. It's working. If we hadn't bought the laser transit, this would be way more difficult, but it's helping make sure that our holes are the right depth and that everything's in the right plane. Trying to just do as much setup as we can and I think the rest of the build's gonna go a lot quicker because of it. It's kind of like everything in construction. It's all about the prep. When we measured corner to corner earlier to check if we were square, we were only off by an eighth of an inch and that is awesome. I assume an eighth of an inch means perfect, so. Good enough. Took three days, but we have all of our columns set. I am so glad to not have to lift another one of those columns for a while. We're super stoked. They went in how we hoped they were going to go in. It seems like a great system to not have to have a concrete truck come and pour piers for you. I think it's time to start framing a wall. Sort of one of those moments where we're going from one step to the next and we've gotten comfortable in one mode and now we have to figure out the whole next thing. Learn a whole nother set of things, but we're really happy with how setting the footings went. I think it's gonna be a great system for us. Let's get framing. It feels like it was just yesterday when we were celebrating 70,000 subscribers with you guys, but I just checked my phone. We're at 80,000. We're at 80,000 subscribers. Holy, that's closer to 100 than not. It still feels like a dream to us. Thank you guys for supporting our channel and allowing us to be out here doing this stuff and filming it for you. Do you think we can hit 100 by the time the shop's done? Yeah, I do. All right, like, make sure to like, subscribe, share our channel with your friends, and we're gonna get back to work. If you're interested in more exclusive content, check out our Patreon. We try to upload content and blog posts frequently on there. Our Tech Tuesdays on Patreon are a great way to get a little more information on what we're doing and why we're doing it, or you can just see Riley fight with a generator. 